So here is a question from uh, a student, Mir Sharik, and he writes, Sir, I am a medical science student, but from 7th class I have this doubt and I was shy to ask this question to my teachers. And even if I ask them, they would teach me something else. <laughs> so the question is, why is rainbow always curved? So, Sharik Sahib, uh, this uh, question is uh, very interesting and it's very natural. Whenever you see the rainbow, it's like an arc in the sky, a circular arc. And uh, it's very natural that this question arises in mind that why it is always curved or like a circular arc. So, first uh, you know how the rainbow is formed. That is the textbook stuff. You have a droplet. You have a droplet, water droplet, and then uh, this light comes, sunlight comes from uh, somewhere, and then it uh, refracts and partially reflects, and then it falls on the other surface, other side of the of this drop, and here again you have some kind of uh, transmission and some kind of reflection. Part of it is reflected and part of it goes and then here also part is reflected and the part is it comes out and it is this which you see it is this which you see rest are all not useful for us so that is how the rainbows form the colors separate because at this refraction at this refraction uh, because uh, you, this refraction here is reflection so at this refraction and at this refraction, colors separate because uh, the refractive indices uh, are different from for different colors. So all those textbook stuff is there. Now, one extra information which is generally not in the textbook is that depending on where on the drop, depending on where at the drop this sunlight is uh, falling this direction from which you receive the light will be different because if it falls here then everything will just go away normal normal and go away <laughs> nothing will be but if it uh, falls uh, somewhere here then there will be some refraction and then at some other angle it will come so the angle at which it comes depends on where on the drop the sunlight is, is falling. And it so happens that if the angle between this transmitted light, finally transmitted light and the incident light, if this angle is 40 to 42 degrees, then the light which comes out is most intense. Because see, light is also getting lost here. Light is also getting lost here. There's a partial reflection here and partial transmission here. And here also, partial reflection. So the intensity also depends on the intensity, how much of light is lost and how much of light has come out of this drop from this side. That intensity also depends on where it falls, where this light falls. The intensity corresponding to this, corresponding to this, corresponding to this will be different. And this intensity is a maximum in the range of 40 to 42 degrees. 42 degrees for red and 40 degrees for violet and remaining in between. And that is what we see because if the intensity is too low, we don't see it. Okay, so keep this in mind. Okay, so now let me draw this uh, diagram again and only showing the relevant uh, lines. So this is our drop and light is coming from left. Say it comes from here and then this is the center bends towards the center and then reflects and then again it, it transmits like this 
this is normal it goes away from the normal and here i see it and this angle this angle angle between this and this and i'm drawing parallel line here this, suppose this is horizontal so from horizontal this angle same as the angle between this and this because this is parallel to this so this should be 42 degrees 40 to 42 degrees different for different colors okay so if i look at say not 42 degrees say 30 degrees 36 degrees 35 degrees i won't see color splitting if i go 45 degrees 47 degrees if my eye is oriented this way no colors but is it the only drop at 42 degrees no there are many more drops at 42 degrees okay so let me draw one of them which i can on the board just reflect it here just reflect this whole thing here and suppose uh, suppose this is the at 42 degree line and then my drop is is like this just reflect this light enters somewhere here just reflecting it and then uh, there's a there's a refraction so it goes like this then there is a reflection and it comes here and then it once again goes away from the normal and therefore it reaches my eye okay perfectly perfect same same geometry uh, just reflect it here and you see the same geometry this drop also sends you a light so this drop yes red green blue everything this drop yes so you can lift your eye this way you can lift your eye this way 42 degrees but these are not the only two possibilities this is two because i am using the surface of the board <laughs> And it's not three dimension. If you go in three dimension, you can have 42 degrees in this direction, in this direction, in this direction, in this. This is 42 degrees. This is 42 degrees. This is 42 degrees. All these drops which are here, they are at 42 degrees. Let me show you using a cone. Look at this. Suppose this is my eye, and this. Uh, this is the that horizontal line. The axis of this cone is horizontal line. So if I and this semi-vertical angle is 42 degrees. So draw any line on this cone. This one, yes, from that central axis, 42 degrees. This one, yes. This one, yes. This one, yes. This one, yes. Okay. So any line on this cone, all these 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 lines are at 42 degrees from that same horizontal. So if I have a drop here. If I have a drop here, 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 all these drops are at 42 degrees from my sight. And therefore, all these drops will send me that vibur, 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 vibur. And all these drops are not on a circle, but in that direction. Okay, the drop can be here, drop can be here. Say no problem. So not the drops are not on the circle, but what I will see this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I will see just one point. This one, this one, this one, just one point. So all these things taken together will give me a circular view, and that is why the rainbows are circular. <laughs> Since uh, we we are not able to see the full circle because we are generally on the ground, and then only part of the circle. Uh, above the ground that we are able to see and that is why it is always a circular arc.